Hi everyone, Pat Miller here. Uh, yet another in my series of unpolished videos. Hmm, maybe I should name my production company Unpolished Videos, because that seems to be what I make. Regardless, uh, last uh, weekend uh, went to the local turning club meeting, uh, Mid Columbia Wood Turners in uh, uh, Kennewick, Washington, and uh, I took a few pieces for show and tell. And the pieces, uh, I'll show you. Uh, all three pieces had a similar uh, effect. The effect being that the uh, the exterior has been recessed, and then the shallower material has been been pierced to kind of give uh, a little three D effect. And one of the biggest questions was, how did I get a uh, a uniform cut to depth on the area that I uh, turned or carved away? Uh, to put this this meshwork on and I thought it might be easier just to show you on another piece that I'm working on where it's not going to have this but it does have uh, the recess cut in it so let me set this off and I'll show you this is the piece that I'm currently working on and you can see that uh, that is being cut away uh, within the I don't know if you can see the, can you see the pencil lines uh, there's pencil lines there. I try not to make them too bright because then I have to sand them away harder. Anyway, you can kind of see it there, the pencil line. And I want to do this whole area. And what I have done is I have made a sleeve that fits on my, uh, my RAM carving tool. Just your standard 40,000 RPM micro pro type, micro motor carver but i made a sleeve out of uhmw that slips on the nose of the carver and you can see there half of that uh surface has just been cut away so i can i can see the the uh the, the bit uh, the burr as it's turning but it also acts as a stop kind of like a half a router table as it were so I can line it up here and see if I can get it to where you can see it. This will be tough. But uh, the back half, the, the deep the part that's still intact, guides the depth by staying on top of the, uh, the uncut surface. So if you start in the middle and work your way back out, uh, you've always got a, a, a surface to, uh, to work from. And it seems to work all well. Uh, just kind of show you here a little bit if I can. Make it too big a mess. How it works in action. So it, it's really quite simple as long as I keep the the guide shoe on the uncut surface the depth is fixed it can't cut any deeper than that oh i suppose i could make a mess out of things and tip things and but uh as a rule if i just kind of let the tool do the work and guide it you can see so anyway piece of one inch uhmw uh drilled in the back side so that it fits over the nose of the the hand piece, I've got a couple of set screws, one there, one on the other side, where I can kind of snug things up and keep them level uh, in case it, uh, so it doesn't want to wobble around. And then a uh, little cutting and nipping on the other end. And you can just loosen up the, uh, uh, the collet and adjust the depth. I don't want to do it now, I've got this in set. But uh, you can adjust the depth and just work to that. Or if, uh, if you don't want to take it all at once and you want to take smaller bites, set it, cut it, make it a little deeper, set it, cut it again until you get down to the depth you want. You can still work from the surface that you've, uh, that you've left if, uh, if you want to make it too passive. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, hope you're all having a great day. I am. Thanks.